Hi, I'm Paul. Welcome to Big Monday. Uh, we're in the middle here of making a weld table as a project for everybody. Uh, in the past episode, uh, we did all the gathering of the parts, the cutting, the, doing the plasma cutting, getting everything ready to weld. Uh, and now in the continuation of that, uh, I got to do some work on this, this pipe. Um, it has some type of a coating on it. I'm not going to pretend to know what it is, but it interferes with the ground. When I go to try to weld on it, the wire just stubs off of it and doesn't get a good arc going. So what I've done, or what I'm going to do, or continue to do, is I've been grinding any place I'm going to make a weld, and I'm going to continue to do that so that we have a good, a good work connection when I do go to make the weld. So if you kind of bear with me here a little bit, I'm going to do a little bit of grinding, and then we'll move on to the next steps. Now you may get a different type of pipe that I have than I have. Uh, however, you know, it might have some kind of coating on it. If not, then you don't need to do this. But uh, if it's got paint or rust, anything that typically, like any time when you weld anyway, that you've got some kind of coating, you have to get it off to make a successful weld. So that's what I'm about to do. Okay, so just bear with me and pardon the noise. In this particular pipe, this is going to be welded to the base. The table is going to be welded here. And up here, I'm going to have a, a screw that's going to be able to tighten to hold the interior pipe in whatever position you choose to have it. And of course, we're going to have an arm coming out here if you need to do overhead work. You can raise that up to whatever level uh, you need to to successfully do that. So the last bit of grinding I have to do is right here where I'm going to weld the arm in place eventually. All right, that takes care of our grinding. I guess next, now it's time to start tacking things together and actually get down to making some welds. All right, the first weld we're going to do is we're going to weld the table to the pipe. So what I've had to do is get it spaced up to where I wanted it on my, on my pipe. Uh, I got a level on here, so it was nice to get it squared up. Same thing with the pipe. Got that nice and square. So now I'll tack it in a couple places, and then uh, we'll make the weld. Okay. Okay, then we'll just give it a quick check to make sure it's still square. Okay, yeah, nothing's gonna roll off of here, we're good. So now we'll just kind of finish the welds. All right, welded the plate to the, t to, or the table to the pipe. And now what I want to do is put some stiffeners on the bottom side because uh, just to stop the plate from being able to bend or anything. So I've cut these uh, stiffeners earlier in the program, if you recall. And I'm just going to put a couple of them over here. Just weld them to the pipe and to the table just so we have a nice stiff table. We don't have to worry about it warping or bending or anything like that. All right, so that's what I'm about to do.
All right, I have my first gusset tacked into place. Now these, these things are, are just stiffeners, you know, a little support. They don't have to survive an atomic blast, so I don't have to weld the whole length of this thing and all the way up. What I'm gonna do is just make a little short weld here, a little short weld here, and then on the other side in the middle, a little short weld, and then I'll weld up the back side. And that, that'll be plenty to hold this in place and, and take whatever that you could throw at it. All right, so here we go. All right, so those three little welds will be more than sufficient to hold this in place. And then we're gonna put another one over here as well. And I probably won't weld up the backside because what I'm gonna do to make things as easy as possible for myself, I'm gonna lay this down so that I'm welding this more or less in a horizontal position rather than vertically. And then uh, I'll do both sides at once when I get my second stifter on, on here. Okay, here we go. All right, so get it tacked in place. Now I'm just gonna go and do basically the same thing as I did before, two welds on one side and one on, the, on this side. All right. All right, and there we have our gussets in place. And then I'm just gonna make a weld here and here, and we'll be done. All right, we've got the table welded on. I now have it placed on my base plate, so that, and I have it, I've tacked it down so it'll stay in place. Uh, again, you have to make sure that it's square and everything, which we did. Um, now what I'm gonna do, before I continue to weld all the way around, I have cut ga uh, gussets, or stiffeners, if you will, that are gonna go on here like so. And rather than weld all the way around, and then I'd have to notch out at the end of my gusset for the, uh, you know, to go over the weld at the base. I'm just gonna put these on first, and then I'll weld between them uh, to uh, secure it to the base. All right, so that's, that's the plan, and that's what we'll start to do. All right, so now my stiffeners or gussets are in place. Uh, I'm gonna weld them the same way I did the ones on the table, just a, one or two welds on one side and one weld on the other side. And that'll be, that'll be plenty of support. And then of course, up the vertical plane to foot firmly attach it to the post. All right, here we go.
All right, so now we have our completed weld stand as far as the base and the welding table. Uh, I've got four stiffeners on the, on the base and two stiffeners on the table so that you can't bend it down by putting too much weight on it. And uh, we're pretty much ready to go uh, with the last remaining part of this, and that is the inside pipe that's going to have the arm attached to it. And we'll get that uh, in a little bit. So until then, thanks for watching MIG Monday, and we'll see you next time around. Well, if you learned something today or like what you saw, please feel free to subscribe and keep an eye out for new episodes every MIG Monday.